Good morning everyone, Emily here from Santa Bliss Flowers. Hello to anyone that's new and welcome back to everyone that's been following along. So today I'm just going to do a quick video of how I uh, pack a wholesale order to go on transport. So I've got a big, a big flushed order to go on transport this morning and it only travels, what is it like, it's only like an hour's trip. But, um, yeah, I just drop at the depot, they pick it up. So, really, the flowers are probably only in their box for max of half a day. So, I'll show you what I've got, and I'll try to show you how I pack it. I'm always kind of in a rush, because I've got to get into town by a certain time, so I don't miss the transport. But we'll see how we go. And I also was looking for my mic this morning to use it, and it has disappeared. So, I'm not sure where it's gone i don't remember putting it anywhere and i don't know whether maybe my daughter's put it somewhere or something so i have to look for that at some point yeah let's have a look so this is the stock i haven't i've got to put it all in bags yet i put the snapdragons into sleeves um as soon as i picked them just to try and keep them straight we've got i think there's 75 stems of snapdragons there and then there's 140 stems of stocks here then we have just a few little bits and pieces a couple of bunches of uh, straw flower a bunch of veronica a bunch of paper daisies a bunch of amaranth and then two bunches of mixed um sweet william there's actually three bunches in here because one of those bunches is for the other florist order which is this one here i don't have to pack it because i just drop that straight into the shop in town and then i actually use their box well i get the um florist in town to save the boxes she gets her wholesale orders in from um the wholesaler because they makes it a lot easier for me to pack rather than having to make my own so i'll set you up and talk you through how i do it all right so I usually try to use these uh, paper sleeves, but they only come in two sizes now. They used to come in three sizes. I did get some of these as well. These are a lot cheaper. Um, but yeah, I prefer to use the paper ones if I can. I've only got these two left in this size, and then I have to, I've got like three lots of big ones, but they'd be a bit too big for these bunches, I think. I might try them and see, but um, yeah, here we go. So I put the bunches into sleeves. Stock come in their main flower, so they come in wholesale in a bunch of uh, five cents. Same with the snapdragons. Sorry if that's noisy. Same with the snapdragons. I might actually set my box up here. I usually try to put the flowers that are less delicate on the bottom because you obviously end up sitting quite a lot on top of each other you just try to do it as best you can without wiping them Make these out of the road and we might actually go ahead and put some of these other flowers into sleeves like the straw flowers pretty hardy so they can go on the bottom and my aren't mine on the bottom sweet william could probably go on the bottom but I prefer to put the like the snapdragons on top because they can be pretty delicate. We might bag the sleeve these straw flowers. Amaranth. I just sit them in up the end there and then I'll put some other heads down this end. Straw flowers is uh, 10 in a bunch and I, charge, I can charge like 
the very higher end of wholesale pricing because I'm so far from a direct wholesaler like a um, big wholesaler and so they're happy to pay they don't have the freight cost and obviously my flowers are a lot fresher than what they get from a wholesaler so they're happy to pay like top wholesale price um, for my flowers this is the first time I've grown these so I put 12 in the bunch and I'm charging ten dollars. I don't know. Like I don't know if there is any. I, I go off like the wholesale prices, but I don't know if they even sell these. So I've charged ten dollars for twelve stems. And then Veronica, these ones, some of them have got to get stems, which is not ideal. Hopefully they won't mind. Um, and then Try to have stems that are as straight as possible. Except one of my flowers, she likes to put stems, so I generally tend to put the stems top of her. Veronica is 10 stems in a bunch, um, dollar a stem, so $10. I want to have that. You say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 No, you don't need to pop up. Hello. I'm going to get these next. Hello, Mama. I just have them up there. I want to. Um. What we have here. I'm trying to remember which one I had for. The other first. Alright. Sweet William. It's not worth that much, so I have to go and spend. I'm just going to have to leave it in the hot house. Okay, all those. Good. So I put uh, 12 stems for some of them that are heads are a bit smaller, like this one. So I put 12 stems for $10. Then so this is stock. Uh, the plastic sleeve is a little bit too small for one bunch. So I'm actually just using the, the big paper sleeves and putting two bunches in the sleeve. <coughs> um, These are probably slightly more open than I would ideally like to send them to the florist, but I kind of just blew open pretty quick. And I know they won't mind, they've still got plenty of life in them. And so my stock is, I think I said five stems, five stems in a bunch. And I am charging $15 a bunch, so that's $3 a stem. And uh, the flowers can't get enough, like this one for like, is it like 28 stems? Uh, 28 bunches, sorry, so 140 stems. And that's like 18 of those bunches are all this open flop colour. And you have the two colours at the moment, or well, don't really have much of them left either now. I'll show you quickly, I actually put like a layer of paper so i did one layer of flowers put some paper just to help add a little bit of uh, protection and then you just sort of try to sit them in there um so they're not squashing each other so i just got the rest of the stock to bag and then i'm going to try and fit the snapdragons i think i'm going to have trouble fitting them all if i don't quite fit them i have another box i can probably put a few in Got in a bit of a rush at the end of packing that order. I ended up having to get the stock back out, put them in a different box because the other box that I had to use wasn't quite as long and it wouldn't have fit the 
snapdragons. The stems were really long on the snapdragons. So I got stock back out, put in a different box, then put the snapdragons in the big box. Um, it ended up being two pretty big boxes full. So that's good. So yeah, I just shut the boxes, sticky tape them shut, put the name address on top. Um, put the invoice in obviously. I think I told you all my prices. I oh, accept the Snapdragons. So it's five, stem, five stems in a bunch. And I am charging $12.50 a bunch. So $2.50 a stem. And yeah, with the stock, I'm literally, the florists are taking as many as I can, as many as I have. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with the stock like to buy them in as seedlings is really good because you get a jump start I get a jump start on the season a little bit um and but they aren't cheap as seedlings uh plugs so and they're quite easy to start from seed I think I might buy like still get a couple of trays just to get the like get them in, get them early because I can't start them as early as what you know like I can buy them in as decent sized plugs but really I can't be starting seeds until sort of when I get those plugs in if it, if that makes sense I can, it's yeah I get like a few weeks head start by buying the plugs um they're not cheap but I think I'm still making a decent amount of money out of them because and they just sell so easily like the florists just love them so I was thinking that I would just try start them all from seed but I think I'll get a few trays just to get a head start and then the rest probably start from seed also I think I, I have to go back and check but I think I may have the reason they were a little bit more expensive than I was expecting is I think I got the selected ones which if I did I think I would do it again because I didn't have very many singles at all like out of the three trays I probably had maybe a dozen in each that were singles so I think that's pretty good so I can get like I literally for the whole tray got like other than the singles three dollars a stem so I'm well and truly making money because they're an easy thing to grow like I you don't put much time they're easy to plant they're reasonably easy to harvest um and i'm definitely going to be growing more next year because i just yeah more colors to try and keep up with what the florists are after um and then the snapdragons yeah they're always popular with florists as well but i think i'll probably cut the white out they haven't been as popular and also even though i got lemon lime instead of like your bright yellow um they haven't been that popular either with the florists i've been selling them retail fine but the florists just aren't as keen on them as they are on you like pinks and uh lavenders and stuff like that so i'll probably get more different like shades of pinks and rather than like white or yellow if i do do white or yellow i'll probably just start them myself and just do them in like a smaller lot not have like a huge big lot because i stuff at courier drops the others uh, into the shop so delivery's all done and I'm sure there's probably some information I'm missing but this can help somebody out I know that a lot of people that haven't anything to do with like wholesale um, sending wholesale or receiving wholesale flowers it can be probably a little bit hard to know exactly how to do it um, I was fortunate enough to work for my si of work help my sister when she had a florist shop so we um obviously had flowers coming in wholesale so yeah i got a pretty good idea of how they pack stuff and uh prices and you can look up prices anyway um but yeah i can like i said i can charge like the top end of wholesale because i'm uh so remote and the florists um have to get their orders from brisbane and it costs quite a lot in freight so um they're happy to pay like top price for my flowers um with not having the freight cost and also them being a lot fresher than what you would get from a wholesaler anyway 
so yeah anyway if you made it this far thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one bye